Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Valencia career mode here in FIFA 19 on PS4. I'm wearing a Philadelphia Union kit right now, but I have a, Val a Valencia kit ordered, so yeah. So, let's get started with our Valencia career mode. Let's use the 60% increase in transfer budget from playing previous FIFAs and stuff like that. Um, global transfer, we can just deal with that. So, we are go- they added the Chinese League if, um, those who aren't playing FIFA yet aren't aware, they did add the Chinese League. So, Spain, Villarreal was a close second, but, um, Valencia, domestic is high, continental medium, brand exposure is high, financial is very low, and youth development is medium. So, let's create our person. Um, I'm, my favorite team that's not France or the U.S., obviously, is the Dutch. Um, of course they didn't update any of the guys. Um, my god, I hate that. Uh, let's go, that's more like Pochettino. Uh, let's go with this guy. Um, yeah. Actually, you know what? Let's name our guy Mork Mork in honor of the old channel, uh, brand. Perfect. Mork Mork from the Netherlands. Okay, so I'm gonna start it on professional because I played a game on world class and yeah, it was not fun then. Half length will be six minutes. Uh, currency will be changed to euros, obviously. Uh, the first transfer window. I don't know. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna leave it on. I want to see how crazy things get. Um, go with current squads, and we are playing at the Estadio Mastala, beautiful stadium. And the European competitions are enabled, which means we are in the Champions League. We have the group of Juventus, Young Boys, United, and us. Now, if you follow along in real life, you'll know that the game between Valencia and Juve was interesting because Ronaldo got a red card. Anywho, it's pretty cool. Um, like, since they don't have um, Red Star, like, I only know this because Liverpool's group, um... Uh, since they don't have Red Star, they just substitute a random uh, team that they have in. So that's pretty cool right there. And then here's the groups for the Europa League. Alright. So, let's begin our Valencia career mode. Alright, here we have the preseason tournament invites. Um, it's much, You know what, let's see. I'm not going to play it, I'm just going to simulate it. Um, let's just see most money. Um, our group would be Milan, Porto, and Watford. I will take that in a heartbeat. That's pretty cool, like with the Champions League and everything that they updated it. With the Champions League group stages announced and stuff like that. So let's take a look at the squad real quick. Just to figure out what we need, what we don't need, everything else. Goalies. We have Christian Rivero. Not not bad, not great. Jaume, a uh, backup goalie, if nothing else. And Norberto Nito. Yikes. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with him because I don't know if I like him or not. Yee. Okay. Right back. Our only right back is Cristiano Pacini. Um, I'm looking to bring in a... I don't know whether I want to bring in a starting or a backup right back. Um, center backs we have a decent amount of. We have Ezequiel Garay, who getting older but he's still good. Gabriel Parista, um, 27, so he's in the height of his career. Um, Giacbi, he'll be like a Copa de Liga guy. Um, Ruben Vezo, he'll be like a second rotation guy. Um, 
Antayor is on loan at Marseille. Uh, Murillo. Oh, I really like him. 26 and 81 overall. That's not really that bad. And Javi Jimenez. Uh, he'll just be like a loan guy. Actually, anybody that I'm looking to just loan out, I'll just add him to the loan list right now. Uh, not Gaia. Hello? Jimenez, there we go. Add to loan list. Left backs, we have Alex Santeles. Decent looking. Antonio Lato as a backup. And one of our cover stars, which I will not be getting rid of because of blocking offers, Jose Gaia. So I think we're set in the left back. Um, CDMs, we have, oh boy, Uros Rachik, question mark? Any Serbians want to, you know, help me out with that one? And then we have Francis Coughlin. Okay, so I did not realize that they actually had him permanently. I thought he was just alone. Okay, I will take Coughlin. Um... Other center mids we have, other center mids, we have the other cover star, Danny Parejo, who I'm keeping because he's amazing. And he's our free kicker, free kick kicker. We have Jeffrey Condogbia, who's actually not bad at all. Ooh, we have Alvaro Medran on loan at Rayo Vallecano. We have Daniel Vaz. Not too bad. And then Pascu. Basically anybody that doesn't have a face is getting on the transfer list. I'm sorry, I can't. Right mids. We have um, Ricardo Campos. He's actually on loan here. Um, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to terminate that. I will pay the 33,000 euros. So, right mids, we have Ferran Torres, 18 years old, basically winger, 73 overall, so he looked an exciting prospect. Um, I believe that is 85 to 90, question mark? And Carlos Soler, 21 years old, 80 overall, exciting prospect. I like our right mids. I'm not going to change anything just yet. Left mids, uh, Alex Blanco, I'm going to put you on the loan list. Um... Ah, Dennis Cheryshev. He's only on loan here, so we'll be looking to grab a left mid. At least a backup, maybe. Cito is on loan, and Gonzalo Guedes. Exciting prospect, 21 years old. I like our wingers, I'm not going to lie. Um, Cam's Kangin Lee. Um, I'm just going to... He's an ex oh hello remove from the loan list real quick. He's an exciting prospect, so that's exciting. Um, okay, Fran Villaba. He's on loan at Numencia. I like the look of him. And now the strikers. Um, we have Mishi who's on loan, but I might look to buy him. I'm not gonna lie. Santi Mina also a cover star, so we're going to block offers because I like him. Kevin Gamero. I did not realize they actually bought him, so yay. I like using him. They ha we have Rodrigo, who can basically play up top anywhere. And on loan at Terizo, at, uh, not Terizo. Um, I'm combining Torino and Zaza. Um, he's on loan at Torino, Simone Zaza. So all in all, I don't think we have a bad squad. Their default formation is a 4-4-2. Um... That seems about right. I mean, I can't really see us doing anything else with it. Yeah, I can't see like anything else going with it. Um, I'm going to create a second lineup and I'll be right back. Okay, so our second team will be a 4-3-3 like, defending thing just to try and fit people where they go. Um, with Cherry Chev. Uh, Sentimina and Torres up top, the mid three of Coughlin, Was, and Rachich, and then the back four of Lato, Diakbi, Murillo, and until we get a better um, backup right back, Ruben Vezo, and obviously Drame in net. So one thing that's, I guess, new this year is if we hit L2 and hit game plans, like if we go to, if we set the ultra attacking formation, this is pretty cool. I mean, 
in the ultra attacking, we could do a 4-2-4. Four, four. Uh, Goides over here. So as ultra attacking, we can basically form up like this. Um, so that's that. Oh, and then... Okay, this is cool. Oh, I did not realize this. Long ball. Okay, so that's cool. All right, I just played around with a couple of tactics. I'll figure out more later once I get like really used to it. Um, captain will be Danny Parejo. He'll obviously take the free kicks. Um, the penalties. I think I'm gonna give it to Gamero. And then corners. Danny Parejo looks like he's gonna be our best like person period so we'll keep him there so we'll save the changes right there thank you and then we have seven emails uh we terminated the guy that's the international cup that's the uh transfer market information vision and expectations blah 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 scouting blah 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 okay so youth development is medium Within two seasons, have one players from the Youth Academy signed in the first season play 50% of the games in the next season? Possible, yet not really. I mean, we'll see how we do. Brand exposure, get $120 million from shirt sales. That shouldn't be too hard. Um, they want us to reach the semifinal of the Champions League. Yeah, no. In that group with Valencia, or no, sorry, yes, we are Valencia. In that group with uh, Juve, Man United, and Young Boys, I'll take winning the Europa League, I'm not going to lie. Domestic success. Finish in a Champions League place and reach the round of the 16 in the uh, Copa del Rey. Not too bad. I, both of those are achievable. Financial, there's absolutely no financial. I like to see that. So, our first... Our first action is to figure out the right back situation, because Piccini is good, but we have the money to to find a beautiful right back. So I will be right back. So this is pretty cool. That normally, like when you search for transfer listed, loan listed, non listed, or free agent, they actually have this thing called a release clause, which is pretty cool. Like it'll show you everyone. Every, for instance, in this one, a right back that has a release clause. Um, that's pretty cool. Okay, so when looking with release clauses, I figured let's look at who actually has a release clause for us. Nito has one for 54 million. I don't think anybody's going to pay that. Jaume, 15 million. I don't think anybody's going to pay that. Piccini, 22 million. Possibly, but I'll let that go for now. Um... Murillo, 41, I don't think anybody's paying that. Diakbi, 21, I don't think for now anybody's going to be paying that. Uh, Lato, 20 million, not bad. Uh, Coughlin, 26 million. Ugh. Nah, I'm going to leave that alone. Redchich, 20.7. Torres, 19.1, I got to keep an eye on that one. Um, Daniel Voss, 45 million. I don't know why you would pay forty million for anywho. Um, anybody else? Cito, one point one five. I mean, he's not really gonna do anything. So, Kangin Lee, nine point five million, not bad. Sentimina, ay ay ay. Um, forty three million. I gotta keep an eye on that. Kevin Gamero, thirty three million. Rodrigo, seventy nine. So basically, nothing out of the ordinary. So that's a good thing. I've thought of a few different ideas for right back. Since we have the money. Danny Carvajal. Sergi Roberto. Florenzi. Who I love using. At least in Pez. In an offline career mode. But I also do love him using him as a um, FIFA guy. Joshua Kimmich. Kyle Walker. And Hector Bellerin. I've only added Bellerin here. Mainly due to the fact that he's Spanish. I don't think any of these guys have a release clause, question mark. Um, or if they do, it's extremely high. Ah, here it is. Nope, nobody has a release clause. But, 
one guy I'm going to keep an eye on in Brazil is a center back, Jose Chia Mulera. He's 26 years old and he's 83 overall. So he's going to be a guy I'm going to be looking to bring in maybe in January, maybe next year. But he's recently moved, so he won't go anywhere. So um, They won't sell Kimmich because he's too important for the club. Drats. Uh, Kyle Walker is between 32 and 49 million. Bellerin's between 22 and 33. Florenzi is between 28 and 43. Sergio Roberto could be between 43 and 66. Yikes. And same, basically same thing with Carvajal. So it looks like Roberto and Carvajal are not going to be in here. So I'm going to leave it up to you guys. I'll put like a... Um, and a card, I believe it's called, like the little eye in the top corner. Kyle Walker, Hector Bellerin, or Alessandro Florenzi. All right, so I figured for the first, you know, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Do you guys want to see me train people, or do you want me to let them grow on their own? Like, if I wanted to train up, uh, per se, Torres, get him up a little bit. Um, do you want me to s just do the training and stuff like that? Or do you want to see him just grow naturally, like based on game performance and everything? Let me know down in the comments. So let's begin the simulation. Um, obviously, there's going to be no signings in this episode yet because I need you, your guys' opinion. Um, hello, transfer offer for Garay. Liverpool won him. Okay, unlike in real life. Uh, they are offering 17.6 million. And we could get up to 20, but I'm not looking to uh, sell him just yet. I like the little transitions in the news feed. Okay, so we have a report back on Hugo Mayo. Ooh, he's not looking bad at all. I'm going to shortlist him. He may be added to the um, consideration if he's not bad. If I can actually get to the right screen, thank you, Transfer Hub. Uh, Hugo Mayo, 13.5 million worth, 29 million release clause. Eh, might be, uh, might offer between 16 and 24. Not bad. Basically, that'd be like a, another Hector Bellerin in a way, but Bellerin's four years younger. You know what, Hugo Mayo, I'm not adding to the uh, thing. So, first game against FC Porto. I'm just going to simulate the preseason because, you know, not fun to play preseason. And we win 2 nothing, so that's a good start. Ah, another... Player injured. Guedes has been injured for six weeks. Lovely. I don't know why he was starting up top in the first place. Um, let's see. For six weeks, I'll just put Cherry Chev in there. Um, and on the bench, I'll just bring on to... I'll just bring Torres onto the bench for the six weeks. Okay, I'm so used to the other one in 18, like where the continue would be yes. Now it's just continue editing. Lovely. Ooh, three more things. Uh, offer for, well, he's I. He's not bad at all. I think he's really decent. I'm going to keep him. And then Mounier. Um, could these guys be added to the shortly um, I'll go back to that one let's see he sigh worth 19 million offer between 25 and 38 uh, it may work Mounier worth 21 million uh, between 26 and 37 um, honestly I think I'd rather have Mounier over Florenzi, so I'll take Florenzi out. So 
I'm going to leave you guys four choices. Kyle Walker, Hector Bellerin, Hisai, and Mounier. Let me know who to pick up. Um, ah, perfect. Transfer offer for Pascu. Um, the Argentinian club wants him. They're offering 950000 Oh, yeah, he doesn't have a face. Um, let's see, we can get up to $1.1 million. Just do a little negotiation stuff. Woo. It's the exact same as last year. Um, add a... S okay, do that, but add a sell-on clause of 3%. Basically, if they sell him uh, after, we get 3% of it. We set a 1 million price tag and uh, with a 3% sell-on. They're only going 950. Um, let's try to get the sell on the two and move it up just a little bit to 975. If they come back with 950, I'll still take it. Yep. Okay. So, Pascu is probably going to be going away for 950,000 euros. And then we have a loan offer for Cito. Um, I'll just accept that because. I wanted him to get loan, loaned out anyway, so, and um, Pascu wanted to play, but um, this is where I'm going to be playing the second team against Watford. Um, let's see how we do. And we win one nothing. Cherry Sheriff got picked up a knock. Lovely already. Hopefully he's not out for long. And international management, blah, 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 blah. Cherry shows out for s seven weeks. Oi. I don't know why that was like that in the first place, but. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to go with the 4 3 3. <laughs> because Rodrigo can play on the left, Gamero up top, and. Um, actually, let's switch that to the 4-3-3 holding formation, like where we can put Kondogbia here. And for now, let's just bring in Rachich. This sucks. Two, two wingers already out six and seven weeks respectively. Yikes. Okay. Now that I hit the right button, because I keep forgetting, like, the continue editing was the yes button. Um, loan offer for Blanco. Banfield. Banfield wants to pick him for a year. Um, sure. See how that goes. Um, all those transfer and loans are ongoing, currently. So, last game against Milan. Uh, loan offer for Jimenez. Swansea City wants to take him for a year. I will take that in a heartbeat. And then we get the report back on Carlos Alenia. I'm just curious to see how well he was compared to last year. He's not bad, he's just not great. Ooh, Angel Correa. He's expiring in 12 months. We could pick him up for free. I'm going to shortlist him because... I've always liked using Angel Correa. Santiago Arias, 26 years old, only 78 overall, I'm no. So, AC Milan. And Mr. Ruben Bezo wants to play in the upcoming match. Um, sorry buddy, it's Milan. And we get a 2-1 win! Gamero and Parejo had no injuries, so that's always a good thing so far. Yay! So we've reached the semifinals, as you can see, in the European International Cup. And we get to face Lazio. Basically, and we added another 2 million to our budget. And Ruben Lazo was disappointed. Oh well, I'm sorry. And Cito has been loaned out, as you just saw up there and right Oh, hello. Cito has been loaned out to Bahia. Um, Blanco, Alex Blanco, has accepted a 
loan to Banfield as the win, and Javi Jimenez is going to Swansea City for the year. And we have a loan offer for Ken Centelles. Uh, Alan, a Turkish squad, is coming in for a year. Um, sure. Uh, I don't see why not. Um, all right. Semi-final versus Lazio. We win! We're on to the finals. Kevin Gamero in the 24th minute. Okay. Press conferences don't mean anything anymore. Um, 3.7 million has been added to the budget. Excellent. And we get to face Shockey in the final. Lovely. Uh, loan offer for Rivero. KRC Genk is interested in taking Rivero for the year. Go ahead. You'll be your third string anyway, so in worst case scenario, we can bring in a goalie from the free agents. Or recall him. Hector Bellerin has been approached by Dortmund. Yikes. So. Um, not good. So, we get to face Schalke in the final. And Pescu as been sold for 950,000 and 700 of that is coming back to us. Woohoo! So, we'll do a slow uh, I'm sorry, I can't speak. A slow sim for the Shockey game and Manchester United have signed Kramaric. Slow sim for the Shockey game. First team out there like normal and Rachich has already got a yellow card. Shuf has scored for Shockey in the 11th minute. Come on, boys. Ten minutes left in the first half. Still one nothing. First half over. Come on, boys. Bergstaller makes it 2 nothing for Schalke, and it looks like they are going to take the uh, preseason trophy. Parejo gets one back. But it's little too late as we lose 2-1 to one in the final. Unfortunately, we don't get any money for losing the final. But that is where we're going to end this episode. Uh, loan offer for Kangen Lee. A ASA uh, Saint Etienne. Um, sure, you can take him. Um, congratulations on reaching the final. Going blah, 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 blah. We hope that's your transfer funds will help the squad even better. Woohoo! I hope Correa is an 80 overall. I will take that for a free next year. Thank you. Lose Michi Batuai and gain Angel Correa. I would take that in a heartbeat. So that's where I'm going to end this episode right here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, smash the like button if you liked the episode. And hope you're having a great day. See you guys.